dear student today we will be diving into the microscopic world of blood cells to observe the effect of concentration different concentration of solution on their structure and this process is also called as plasmolysis and deplasmolysis it reveals the importance of osmotic balance in the cell or osmotic balance for the cell health so first of all we will uh, discuss what is what is plasmolysis and what is deplasmolysis so uh, plasmolysis is the shrinkage of protoplast of the blood cell it caused due to loss of water from the cell while deplasmolysis uh, in deplasmolysis uh, when a plasmolysed cell is placed in any hypertonic uh, solution it absorb water and swells so this process is uh, called as deplasmolysis dear student for this experiment we will need microscope three slides with cover slip droppers ringer solution hypertonic solution and for this experiment i will use 3% saline solution and hypertonic solution and for this experiment i will use distilled water alcohol swab and unused syringe let's start the procedure first of all i will take off my glove and clean my finger with the help of a alcohol swab with alcohol swab and prick it with the help of needle or unused syringe next i will add this drop of blood into 0.5 ml ringer solution now take three slides and mark these slides like a b and c in next step take a small amount of your sample on each slide one drop of your sample on each slide now for the next step take small amount of 3% saline solution and mix it with your blood sample on slide b okay now take a little amount of distilled water and add it on your sample on slide c okay now cover your slides with cover slip carefully cover it with cover slip to prevent any formation of air bubble and same for next two slides b and c now we will observe these slides under microscope first of all i will take slide a and observe it under microscope now i will observe slide b under microscope and now slide c
Dear students, in slide A, you will observe that red blood cells retain their biconcave shape because Ringer solution is isotonic solution, so there is no osmosis. While in slide B, you will observe the cells shrink in their structure and size due to plasmolysis. And in, in uh, slide C, you will observe the cells increase in their size and swell up due to deplasmolysis. Dear student, this experiment helps us to understand the fundamental process of how cells interact with their environment and how they can respond to any change in their osmotic conditions. Today, we will do the blood smear preparation. My young scientists, the material required for the blood smear preparation consists of any type of dropper or the correct, for the correct measurement we will use the micropipette, tips for taking the blood, there is an instrument and the pins, alcohol swab, slides and the cover slips, methanol, 99% methanol, gym sustain, water. We will visualize our slide under the microscope. So first we will record our experiment in our logbook, which is an important bioethical measurement for the lab. So first we will write the date, the time interval, and the other uh, main important details we will want to record it. And obviously we may have also, it is important that uh, we should have the data book or the practical copy. Now I will start the procedure. First, I have to disinfect totally and clear my finger I will take a clear slide which is also uh, cleared by the ethanol and will put a drop of blood and clear the finger. Then I will take an other clear slide and at the angle of 45, I will make a comet-like shape. First I have to fix, then I have to drag it. You can see here, a clear comet-like structure has been formed that I have to dry it. So before going on further steps on the procedure, I will wear the gloves. The first washing will be with the methanol. So that we have to fix our slide. In methanol, we have to fix our slide for two to three minutes. We will give the washing of gym sustain.
We will wait for about five minutes and transfer it to the another clear petri dish. After five minutes, I will wash it with the water. So I will put this dry slide under the microscope. First I will adjust it at the lowest magnification power, it is the 4x. And one important measurement which I have to do here, I will see the slide in a zigzag manner. And we want to see each and everything, then we have to go just like this. So we have to cover each and every cell. As the blood cell is consist of different type of, not only the red blood cells, but also the white blood cells, in the slide, we can see the biconcave shape of the blood cells and various types of the white blood cells which consist of macrophages and the neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils. Depending upon their shape, we can see here and classify these cells. Along with these, we can also see here the platelets. On 4X, I can see there are various small spots of the red blood cells. So with the more magnifying power, I can fix it. I'm using 10x magnification power. And these cells are more beautifully visualized to me. Then I am changing. the 40x and at the 40x I can see by moving the slide various blood cells and more perfect view I will change the lens the objective the 100x and for visualization Better visualization, I will use oil immersion. One drop of oil immersion is enough. So my young scientist, the blood smear preparation experiment is very important, not only for the medical point of view, but also in, in the biology lab, we can see and compare different types of the slides which are of the different species, which may be of different abnormalities. So it is very important experiment. Thank you.